Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make an Egyptian bead necklace based on the Garstang Museum photograph that you can see here. I've got different colours and different types of clay. It's the oven baked clay that once you pop it in the oven for about half an hour, the bead then becomes nice and solid and firm. I've also purchased one of these bead makers in the center you can do different styles of bead but if you want to you can just roll the clay in the palm of your hand to make a ball shape i've also got a needle and a few little shaping tools and that's just to make sure that the hole is big enough in the center of my bead and then finally i've got some necklace cord as well i've got my clay and i've pushed it inside this device just to make sure that i've got exactly the right amount of clay and then using a pen I'm just going to push that out of the mould and then you pop it inside this and depending on which shape you want to make you then slide this up and down so that it shapes the clay into the desired shape you can also mix up your clay colours just to give different patterns on the beads Take your coloured clay and this cutting tool. You just need to make sure that you've got the exact right amount for the bead. So you push that into there. Take off any excess and then push this out of the mould. This then needs to go into a ball. And then you pop this into the desired shape so I'm going to go for this diamond pattern pop the lid on and then roll the top and bottom a few times until you see your bead taking shape and there is the bead so now you just need to take your needle pop it through the end the way through give it a bit of a wiggle widen the hole on one side and then do the same on the other and then you can take a wider tool and you can start making the bead a little bit bigger this is so that we can thread through the necklace later on. Just make sure that the hole is big enough for whatever necklace you are going to make. I've also selected some clay that's got a bit of glitter in there because this will make a really lovely effect when it comes out of the oven. And like I said, you can also roll the clay in between your hands just to make bead shapes. You can roll it lengthways to make a longer bead you can just roll it into a ball. If you don't have a mould, there's lots of different ways you can do this. I've tried to replicate some of the beads that are in the Garstang photograph. A lot of the beads that were produced in ancient Egypt were connected to the gods, especially the colour of lapis lazuli. So that is the closest I could get with my modelling clay. You've also got the turquoisey colours, which were linked to the goddess Hathor. Have a little look online and look at different colours and their symbols and meanings and just choose whichever colours that you want for your necklace. I've also chosen some gold colours as well and mixed the colours together to give different patterns on the beads. Once you've made your beads, you can lay them out to see what they would look like in your design. I've also got this from another necklace. It is an ancient Egyptian scarab beetle. 
Um, the scarab beetle does represent many things, but one of them is creation, so I thought that was lovely for the creation of this new necklace. I've put my beads on the baking tray in the order that I would like them in, and I'm going to pop them in the oven for about half an hour on gas mark number two. I had some of the leftover clay, so what I've done is I've used all the colours in the necklace and then added in some of the red. I've then made an imprint with the scarab beetle and that will go in the oven and then when it comes out that will fit in the centre and that will be in the middle of the necklace. Now that the beads have cooled out of the oven I'm going to string the necklace. So I'm going to start with my centrepiece which is the scarab beetle. I'm going to pop that into the middle of the necklace and then continue to string the beads either side. And there is the finished necklace. So now I've just got to make the string the right length and tie it off at the end.